In this tutorial, I will tell you how to add a search option in your blog website or any other website. So, if you search for this, so I just copy it and paste here. So click on search. So here, found one result, the selfish giant. If you click this, this is the detail page of the selfish giant. Okay. So here, if you copy this and paste here, so found one results and this is the detail page of this okay and again if you search this paste here post containing one results and this is amazing if you click on this this is the detail page of engine travel by rk narayana this is a very good story so in this video i will tell you how to do this and you can download the all code from the description box check the description box and download it for your better understanding Please watch the full video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. This is the simple blog type website. This is the list view and this is the detail view. Here is here are some stories and these all are categories. Okay, so click on this the selfish giant by Oscar Wilde. So this is the detail page of the selfish giant. Okay, if you click kids. So the category kids will open. So if you click funny, the category funny will open. I have already discussed about how to create category wise list view in Django. Also I have discussed about how to create list page and detail page in Django and get absolute URL in Django. So now I want to add here a search engine. Okay. So this is our Django project and this is the Django app name story. And this is the list.html. This is for list view. Okay. At first, you have to add a search button. Okay. You copy from bootstrap. So I just copied it and and paste here. So I have created a form with method get and the name of URL is search. Story is the app name. Okay. So here input tag is very important. The name of input tag is search. I will use this in search functions and there is a button for submit. Okay. At first remove the URL actions. So save it and run it. You now see that a search button has been added here. Okay. So now create a URL for the action. So the URL is search so the name of the url is search and story is the app name okay so save it and go to urls.py now create a path for search so path search then type the functions name i will create these functions in views.py And the name of URL is search. This name and this name should be matched. Okay. So now save it and go to views.py. Here create a functions for search story. So define search. and pass the argument request so here i just copy it and paste here so at first create a variable name query the query at first the query equal none and create a variable results results is an empty list and then if request dot method equal to get it is not required but you may write this okay so if request method equal get then query equal request dot get dot get this get is the method so this is okay and this is the name of the input tag then results equal story dot objects dot filter the story is my model okay go to models.py and here is the story my model 
there is a field for title and body for footer okay i just want to search for title body or footer so go to views.py and here type story.objects.filter then q title double underscore i contents equal query and this query equal this okay or q then first bracket body double underscore i contents equal query if your query is in title or is in body then you get the results okay and here if you add the footer then you can so just type q then footer footer is a field footer double underscore i contents footer double underscore i contents equal query and then return render request and the template name is search.html create a search.html in your templates folder okay and pass the query and the results okay now create a templates for search.html you can download all the code from the description box okay i just copy this i will explain it so at first just copy this and paste here go to list.html and copy this bootstrap link and go to search.html and paste here in the body tag okay so if query exists means if your query is true then this block will run okay so post containing query with results dot count this will return the number of results found total results this is the number of result and then type end with okay so then type the for loop for c in results results is your actual search results okay for c in results so results is the django variable so this okay so for c in results then type c dot title this is the title of the story and type a anchor tag here is a hyper reference and type c dot get absolute url get absolute url i have already defined in the models dot py this i have also discussed about get absolute url in previous video now here if your query is empty then there is no result for your query and then end the for tag else means if your query is equal false then type there is an error and then type the end if template tag so now save it and run the server so now search for the self is giant so type self is so search okay found one results the self is giant if you click this then this is the detail page of the self is giant and then search for the engine e n g i n engine and found one result so engine travel by rk narayan so click it and this is the detail page of the engine travel so if you search for any word and i search for this word so copy this and paste here okay so post containing good natured this is for what if you add the contents instead of i contents then you cannot see this page and here please type i contents if you click it this is the detail page okay so here you can search for anything so here type anything so post containing this found zero results there are no results for your query okay so i just copy it and search for it found one result okay this works perfectly thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel